ourselves a little bit of shop time in a project. What I have here is a very old 410 single shot. I tried to hydrograph this thing and put a camel pattern on it. it. Worked out, it looked pretty good, but then I got tired of it and I want to take it off. This is not my gun, it's my father's gun, and yes, he knew I was doing it. First things first, we got to get this hydrograph camel pattern off. Um, I started this project a little while ago, didn't finish it. There was a 12 gauge, uh, one of my first shotguns, it was a single shot similar to this. I hydrographed it. I took it off, restored the gun, it looks pretty good now. We're going to do the same thing to this 410. First things first, make sure it's unloaded. Single shot, unloaded. Already removed the rear plate and the sling swivel. I'm going to take the foregrip off, we're going to sand it down, and yes folks, this is going to take the bluing off the gun. I'm not sure whether I'm going to Cerakote this or put bluing back on it. I'm not much of a bluer, I've never done it. Uh, there is an art to it, and this guy might not have that art. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the foregrip off, put it in the vise, and we're going to sand it down back to the bare wood so we can get it ready to be refinished. All right, back at the bench. As you can see, it needs a lot of care. We're going to try and get this off. Uh, on the metal part, I'm going to use acetone. We'll try and get that scraped off. The rest, I'm going to try and sand off. But first thing we're going to do is remove the foregrip. Now, it's missing the screw here that holds the foregrip to the spring because these things are spring loaded. When you pull the foregrip off, that spring's supposed to come with it. Then when you break the barrel, the barrel will come off and leave the stock by itself. This is off. This is what we're going to start with right here. All right, I got it in the vise. I'm going to use a palm sander. I got some 120 grit sandpaper. I'm going to go over it lightly. I don't want to damage the wood, but I do want to take the finish right down to the bare wood. This is what the top did look like. As you can see, it's. Well, I've tried to scrape it off because I didn't want to lose the finish. That's not going to work. Quick trip of the sandpaper takes it right back to normal, and I'm not damaging the wood at all. I just got to rotate it around in the vise so that I can get all the sides. Hopefully, I can bring it back to the way it was. I don't tighten the vise too tight because I don't want to crack the wood. Just enough to hold it steady. See that popped out? 
So I want to do it just enough to hold it steady. And there we have this side here, which did look like this. And in a matter of seconds, it looks like this, back to where it's supposed to be. Now we're going to finish the other side. There we have, we got a couple small spots right in here and along this side right here. But in a matter of seconds, it's pretty much right back where it was. All right, so now we're going to move on to the rear portion of the stock I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to sand this down and to right up until where I get to where the metal is then I'm going to use the acetone on the metal to get that all cleaned up get the hammer cleaned up and uh, try and clean this plastic up without damaging it at all I can take the trigger guard off that's not a problem and uh, hopefully we can get this thing looking good back to original that's the plan alright so I took the barrel off the gun which will make it a lot easier to work with less to get snagged on things smaller portion again a lot easier to work with so I'm going to put a new piece of sandpaper on here we're going to get started on this here and see if we can bring this back as good as this one did fresh piece of sandpaper I got it clamped down to the bench hopefully that'll hold it doesn't look too bad pretty much got rid of all of it right up to where the metal starts so I just gotta get in here down along the trigger guard this side here right up to where the metal is it's coming along a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be Right back just like the four stock it's coming off pretty good uh, it's gonna be just tricky getting in here I'm gonna finish this up and I'll get back to you all right guys here's where we're at so far I, I apologize if the lighting's off I'm still trying to figure out the lighting in here but it's, I got new lights up and camera settings and whatnot so I apologize if it's off I'll, I'll know when I edit this but here's where we got okay so what I've done is I've soaked most of this with acetone rubbed it down real good and most of it come off just with rubbing with this here although some of it was pretty stubborn and yes you see this right here I saved you the pain of watching me scrape that off because it was painful but you got to be careful 
because you will scratch it and if you scratch it you're gonna have to sand it so you get it back smooth again so it's gonna be a little bit more work but I got to get it off so this is where we're at the stock it all looks pretty good most of it is off the metal again I don't know whether I'm gonna Cerakote this or blue it again most likely Cerakote because it's easier uh, the barrels pretty much done the four stock turned out really good but uh, so what I've done now is I have I've wet the metal down again with some more acetone I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit I'm gonna come back out in the shop in about a half an hour or so and see if it'll wipe off a little easier because I really do not like to scrape this all right we're back in the shop I've personally assembled the shotgun now I've got the foregrip on the stock the barrels on the uh, trigger guard is plastic so I'm just gonna paint that it's sanded down and smoothed out so I'm just gonna paint that black uh, anything else is plastic I'm just gonna kind of sand it down a little bit and paint it should turn out pretty good so what I'm gonna do now is I've got some tongue oil that I've been using on my duck calls I'm gonna use it on the stock here and see how it turns out I'm using a clean rag Let's see what we got. Now we're going to do the rear stop. Now I can see some of the old uh, paint that's been in here that I didn't get out that I thought was off. It's not. Alright, so the reason I'm not finishing this completely right now is because I'm not sure, like I said, whether I want to Cerakote this or re-blue it. I've never blued before, and if you don't know what you're doing, you can really mess things up. So, kind of undecided. I'm going to give you a little bit of history about this gun here. I'm considerably older now, but I'm about to let you know pretty much how old I am. Back when I was 18, I marched myself down to the local police station. Happens to be where I work now. Paid the guy behind the counter $3 and I got what they call an FAC, Firearms Acquisition Certificate. That's about it. Three bucks. I then went to Kmart. Again, there's no more Kmarts left in Canada, so that kind of tells you that as well. As well as the FAC, that's been long gone. I walked into Kmart and I remember my pop always telling me, he hunts rabbits with a 12 gauge. He's always said, you don't need anything more than a 410 for a rabbit. Look behind the counter, single shot 410. I said, I'll take that. Bought it, I think I paid 60 bucks for this gun. Took it home and gave it to my dad. He used to say he was quite happy when he got that. And he's had it ever since. So, over a period of time, I was into some hydrographics. I was trying to do printing on guns and things of that nature. But you got to use your own. You can't use practice on somebody else's. Pop pretty much gave up hunting, so I used this one here. It turned out pretty good. The pattern was good, but I got tired of it. And now, to be honest, uh, Pop's in kind of a bad way medically right now. And uh, I felt the need to restore this back to the way it was. And hence the reason I'm finishing this job now. I had started this a while ago when I did the other single shot 12 gauge. I've restored that one as well. I then started this one and didn't finish it. However, with the way things are going right now, I just felt the need to finish this one here. So... I'll make a decision in a few days as to whether I'm going to blue it or I'm going to Cerakote it. I really don't want to mess it up too badly, so I may go with the Cerakote because it's a lot easier for me to work with. But 
it's got some sentimental value which is why i decided to do it and uh hope you enjoyed it hope you got some of this that's just tongue oil on there the natural character of the wood is really really nice that's nice some nice burled walnut and uh it's got some pretty good character to it the four stock is considerably darker than the rear not quite sure what's up with that but they're both the same kind of wood it's not perfect nor did i expect it to be perfect because it wasn't perfect when i started but anyway it's pretty much done that's something we'll probably keep forever anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it a little bit of firearm restoration and uh folks uh yt does not like these kind of videos so if you do me a favor subscribe like and share and so we can get these videos out there and get some more views on them because these outdoor channels are kind of behind the eight ball and i appreciate all your support and as always get outside and enjoy the outdoors later